Well, how, you, you said licensing. So we talked about it being no overhead. So mm-hmm. two, I'm, I'm a pretty good listener. So <laughs> I think you said that it took you two years to get licensing, right? Mm-hmm. And then but you had another the, client. But that, but that was for the first business for residential care. Okay. So yeah. when we're going through the foreclosures and trying to figure yeah. out those houses we bought during real estate, yeah. it took me two years to get approved for that business. Okay. Now, when I was doing that provider alliance network thing that I told y'all mm-hmm. about, mm-hmm. that's when I was, it took me about probably about eight months to get approved for this home health care service. So mm-hmm. I actually was getting approved for that while I let the provider alliance thing happen. But isn't it faster already, now? Then you have uh, you had somebody in your system get approved in 30 days, right? Yeah, that was an outlier. But that okay. was really good. We haven't seen those too often. That's really, really, really rare. As yeah. long as all the paperwork is together, because what we do is like we send out a packet to everybody who actually starts the process. That packet lists out every single thing that we need to be able to like push it into the system to be able to get your application approved and pass with flying colors. But some people like, you know, miss specific documents or they might miss certain information. So if we submit your packet and it's missing those particular documents, mm-hmm. then when they review it, they're gonna say, okay, you guys need to resubmit like the business license. or you might have to resubmit the CPR test or the TV test, whatever the case may be. Like if everything's together, then they can push it through real quick and you can get approved a whole lot faster. But it just depends on like, how many files are reviewing at one particular time or like, you know, which particular like reviewer at the state level is like looking at your file. There's a lot of factors that go into how fast you'll get it back. So for them, I was like, man, <laughs> I don't know exactly what was going on up at that state office, but for you to get it that fast, it was just meant to be. And it's but free? on average, no. So no. it costs a thousand dollars to get your application submitted to the state for them to review it. Okay. And then for Medicaid, it's like around about $700 to okay. get them to be able to do that application fee. Okay. Mm-hmm. And each of them on average take about three months. So four months we've seen at the most, but three to four months on average. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, before, before we, uh, oh, we got some curtains coming up. We feel it's looking real different. Before we get, <laughs> before we get out of here, we gotta, we gotta touch on, um, we gotta touch on Squid Game.